What's going on everyone? My name is Josh. I'm the creative director at Out The Box Digital, better known as OTB. And for the people that don't know what OTB is, OTB is a creative agency where we tell brand stories with custom made strategic planning and high quality creative content. And in this video, what we'll be doing is breaking down OTB's Faith Over Fear video. Within the breakdown, I'll pretty much walk you through each scene and tell you a little bit of, of the meaning behind each scene and how I went about shooting the scene. Without further ado, let's watch the video. The different ones are always interesting. What do you see? The fear of change. What do you see? Faith in new beginnings. So let's get into the breakdown. So the first scene, don't get caught up with the fast life, is pretty it's cliche to say, but for most scenes that you see in the first half of the clip is going to represent, you know, that fast lifestyle. So here you have birds flying to slow motion and I ended up speeding it up uh, in post using Adobe Premiere. Birds resemble peace, change, and freedom. And, you know, the birds are representing OTB. We, we're here, you know, we have that creative, you know, freedom where, you know, we want to express ourselves in the best way that we, can, we possibly can in the most creative way as well. You have a train passing by, and then right here, I shot this because it's a great match cut for the next scene, which is the lane divider. And the train pretty much represents, you know, opportunity. The opportunity is like passing you by uh, when you're living this, you know, fast lifestyle. And then when you come, you know, to the next scene with the lane divider, it represents of uh, just kind of having that, that middle ground. And, we want everybody to pretty much have that balance and feel good when working with us or working for us. The next scene, Butter Mountain, I just thought it was a cool shot to put in there. And it's also a process of, you know, when you're cooking pancakes on a skillet, you gotta, you know, butter it up. So, and then the next scene, which is, you know, Elijah sitting on the couch, scrolling through social media, and it's just representing him just getting caught up with, you know, that lifestyle, just getting distracted by social media, getting caught up with all the, the, the news feeds and everything that you see online. And there's just so much information that you're, you're taking in to your brain. There's just so much, it can feel overwhelming. And you know, him just scrolling fast is just pretty much what everybody does in the world nowadays. I'm a victim of it. Sometimes I'll be in a damn rabbit hole for like, you know, 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour just scrolling or just going through social media. So just a representation of what, you know, what people do nowadays. For me writing, uh, this clip was just a good filler clip just because I really didn't have that many clips after I went through all the footage. You're going to see this clip later on, but you know, obviously at a normal speed, this is definitely sped up so it could fit um, in the intro. The next scene is just pouring batter and then counting money. The counting money is very important just because it resembles the people, like I said, worrying about, you know, what's, what's to come, but not really living in the present, you know, worrying about what building worry about you know where their next dollar is going to come just seeing how much money they have now really not living in the moment and that's what this is you know representing me counting it at a fast pace cooking pancake and then right there elijah says the different ones are always interesting we pride ourselves on you know being different being different from other agencies or just other hum human beings we like to be ourselves we like to express ourselves in the way we want to and you know, that's what we pride ourselves on. That's what OTB is. We like to stand out from others. And, you know, us being different makes us interesting. And that's pretty much what he's saying. But this scene right here is definitely one of my, is definitely one of my favorite scenes just because of like the deeper meaning behind it. 
right here you have myself reading one of my favorite books called The Secret by Rhonda Burns and it's all about the laws of attraction, speaking things into existence. And I'm a firm believer of that. And you have, you know, pancake, which is representing us. Red pancake at that, standing out from all the other regular pancakes. And Elijah is a pancake connoisseur. Like he loves them, he eats them almost damn near every single day from what I know. But uh, it's cool to implement, you know, what he loves into this video because it's, you know, representing himself. And then you have a clock, you know, ticking at an extremely fast pace. I just sped this up in uh, an Adobe Premiere. And this is straightforward, you know, living that fast life, you get caught up and time just goes by. You really don't live in that present moment. So here when I'm, you know, looking into the sun, it's just kind of, you know, it's pretty much part of my creative process. Sometimes, you know, I, I just listen to music. I may have to walk or I, I drive somewhere or anything like that. It's just me showing myself being still, but then also showing my process and how I work. So there you have a perfect, I like this framing too. You got the pole right here. You got another pole right here. I'm kind of like in between two right here. Boom, got the fresh cut, fresh lineup. Car dirty though. My car is dirty though. Should've got a car wash, but that's straight. Go into a tighter shot, and then I close my eyes, which then triggers my hand to tap, and it's a perfect match cut right there. And it's just me in my office doing my work. So, you got that, you got a tight shot right here. A little eye press because I will be working. No, I just, I don't even know. I thought I cleaned my eyes, but it's whatever. But we have um, the monitors in my, as a reflection in my eyes right there. And it just shows like how focused and how present I am, you know, when I'm working on a project or anything like that. Goes into me, you know, typing on my computer. You know, this is the same shot you saw already. But this is just me writing down, you know, idea or anything like that. And honestly, I was just writing down the notes that I uh, have for this video, like the whole concept and theme behind it. So this is opportunity calling. You know, as cliche as it is, are you gonna, you know, answer the call? You're gonna take the opportunity. You're just gonna let it pass by you. And and this is where the whole faith over fear concept, you know, ties everything together. Are you gonna have faith in this opportunity or are you gonna have fear and let it pass by? You know, here at OTB, we pride on, you know, having faith in all things, no matter what it is, because at the end of the day, everything is a lesson. As long as you, you know, you apply, you know, the lesson that you learn uh, to the next step that you're taking, you know, you can't go wrong with that. So you have myself asking Elijah, what do you see? And Elijah says, you know, fear, uh, fear and change and then you have Elijah asking me what do you see and then I respond you know faith in new beginnings uh, that's what we have that's who we are as a company that's who we are as individuals we have faith in new beginnings it doesn't matter what we're doing uh, whatever new opportunity that's coming our way we have faith in it and this scene right here is, is definitely my favorite because it just ties everything together you have Elijah and myself you know OTB right here it's just us looking out to what's to come, like us having faith in what's to come. And if you guys don't know, like sunsetting in business terms pretty much means phasing out of like products and services and like and like methods. And here with the whole, you know, sunsetting like theme and, you know, setting, it's, you know, we're watching, you know, businesses, you know, wanting to phase out of that and pretty much have that mindset, okay, out with the old in with the new. Uh, OTB is the new and it's just us watching you know businesses phase out of those old methods and everything and you know pretty much welcome us in and that obviously leads into the next shot where it says welcome to OTB and that's the video in a nutshell I do want to show you what the timeline looks like in Adobe Premiere and that's this is pretty much what it looks like you have all the clips up here and like the adjustment layers where I was able to color grade add that grain effect and everything and here you have literally all of the audio that I used throughout the project. So there's a lot of, you know, natural sounds that came from the video that we recorded that I was able to like, you know, mix and like tune and make sure it was able to transition with the, with the proper clips. And then, you know, here you have the music and then 
have like an echoey sound effect here for the music. The sound design is extremely important when it comes to creating any video. It definitely makes or break the video. So for this project, I definitely wanted to hone in on that. So that's about it for this video. If you guys want me to do a breakdown on how I plan this project with the storyboard, um, I use Miller Note. But if you want to go into a deeper dive on that, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you guys want me in the future to do a breakdown of how I actually edited the project, like step by step, feel free to let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, we out.